What's up guys, so Freako Final Reactor here, back at it again with another reaction video. Today is, we're going to be reacting to Stickbot and Clickbot Target Haul by the one and only Kids Filling Club. My man Micah, I am back buddy. Now, before we get into it, what I can see from the thumbnail right off the bat are some new stick, five new alternate colors of Stickbots that are going to be coming out later in stores this year probably. And then we have the original packs of Clickbots with Cosmo, Axel, and Slink. Yeah, pretty much. So I believe uh, Micah, was, Micah got notified that there was a sale of Clickbots going on on Target and then he bought a whole bunch of things right here. And I can't wait to see what is to come in this video. I'll put, and guys, if you am not already, uh, and if you are a Stickbot animation and a reviewer fan, check out Kids Filming Club's channel. Link will be posted in the description. I think I've said enough. With that being said, I can't wait to see what's to come in this video. Let's get to it. Stickbot and Clickbot Target Hall, what do we have? Hello everyone, it's me, Stickbot. Now, today, we're going to oh. be doing a Stickbot Clickbot Hall. But, uh, where's the hall? Right there. Oh, Oof. there it is. Well, you heard the Stickbot. Uh, I, I think he's alright, at least. He, sh he should be fine. He's <laughs> fine. Uh, we are going to be doing a Target Clickbot and Stickbot Hall. Nice. All stuff from Target. I actually got this stuff for a pretty good deal at Target. They have a sale or clearance, you could say, yeah. on Clickbots and Stickbots. And on one hand, should I be concerned of the fact that these guys are hitting the clearance aisles and they're not selling well and Zing, unfortunately, released Clickbot at a bad time during a pandemic? Yeah. But on the other hand, 50% off! Oh, it's such a good deal! Alright, so... That is... That, he's we lucky. Got, we got a lot of new Stickbots here. Like a black one, white... So, uh, they're mostly all multicolored mm -hmm. stick bots. I got this one. They look real nice. Another one. This one is my favorite right here. Red. This look, looks like Spider Man. And legs. Yeah, it looks like Spider Man. And one more. We also got a Clickbot Studio Pack with the green Clickbot. Yes. And a couple of Clickbot singles, blue and red. Yes. Oh, and look. Blue's fine. Here he is. Look, he's alright. Yay! Oh, <laughs> Here's a nice overhead look of everything we got. This will make a good thumbnail. And let's go ahead and open some of these stuff stick bots up. Yay. Here's a look at the red stick bot with the blue arms and legs. Very nice uh, color scheme here. It's oh. really, it is really nice. Looks like Spider Man. Here is a white head stick bot with a black shirt, I guess. And it's kind of like a white stick bot with basically a black shirt on. And the cool thing about this guy is that he's got black suction cups on the bottom. And white. And white oh, I did not see top. those. He's got two different color suction cups. That's Next nice. We got this transparent blue and green. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have multicolored suction cups, but it's kind of like this one where it's like a light blue stick bot wearing a green shirt. Yeah. This one's pretty cool. That's nice. Next, we have another black and white solid stick bot with the dual suction cups. Yes. You can see. Uh, the face print on this one seems to be a little rough. It's not very, I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got like a scratch mark on the eye. I think you can see it, yeah. Like there. There it is, but, yeah. Alright, I guess I can just get like white sharpie. Do white sharpies exist? I have no idea. I have no idea either. And finally, we got another light blue, light green mixed stick bot. Mm -hmm. That one Pretty looks nice as well. Same as this one here, but with inverted colors. Mm -hmm. Now, you're probably wondering why I got more click bots, even though I already have these three. And that's because I'm still having issues with Clickbot pieces breaking, and it's good to have some uh, extras nearby I in see. case one breaks during an animation. But I also got the Studio Pack because I wanted to see if they had updated it at all since uh, my reviews, since I was pretty critical of it. I know, I'm not sure that's so ever going to happen. And open this up. So I've opened it up, and so far I have found a new difference. Uh, in the previous Clickbot Studio Pack, there were instructions, however... It did not look like this. This is a smaller, sort of, foldable instruction. The okay. previous one was like a giant square, I guess. You can go back into my review and see it. Okay. But they have these new instructions now for the slink. Unfortunately, this still doesn't show you how to build this, how to attach it onto your thing. But That's this is sad. an improvement over the previous one because, for one, uh, they do give you a part count now so that... You can see all the yes. parts included, at least in the steps, I guess, so you can build it. That is awesome. Like so, 
And, and there's all the available. Click them all right here for the that, sets. That is nice. And download the Zing Stickbot Studio you know, app. 2.0. Oh, Stickbot Studio, right? Isn't it Stickbot Studio 2.0? Did they change the name again? I don't know. I think they have two different ones. But yeah, that is an improvement over the last one so far. Now, one thing from my review that was a pretty big deal is the fact that a certain missing piece was missing that wouldn't allow you to basically make this. And I think it was only the red one that included it because it was part of the monster. But when you take a look at the pieces, what have we here? They added it. It's now in the the studio packs. The other ones, I guess. Uh, it's not on the oh really instructions anywhere or the parts where the part count is. I haven't spotted it. Is that the thing it, for where? Actually, use it for uh, the monster. But the good news is that it's here and that you can now. Attach your quick bot. Okay. So that's good. Although I have figured out one more problem, I think. What? I'm looking at the box at least. Uh, when I was trying to combine the quick bot, you need this piece right here, as you can see, to connect this piece to it. But unfortunately, it looks like there's at least three of them per arm, it says, at least on that box. But unfortunately, this set only comes with two, so. If you tried to do this, you'd end up with this, with just those two parts. Okay. I mean, it looks fine, but still, it's not this. Luckily, the set does come with some ball joints here. So, with those ball joints, it is possible to create this, so that's good. I see. Since I already built the creature before, I decided to do something new instead with the pieces. What is this? So, I made this creature. Okay. It's like a, a superior creature. Look at him. Looks like a baby uh, modulus. Using only parts from the set. And now, Green Quick Bot has a worthy opponent to fight in this set. Look at him, this is awesome. Uh, okay. It did take a lot of effort oh, I'm stuck and up. mostly pain from fingers to yeah. build this, but here's what it looks like. Quick Bot joints are I, pain I in the butt to remove. Gerald. Look at him. He's got sort of this arm thing, so the arms can spin around. It's so baby modulus! It's fully animatable, and if I need to switch out the legs, I can always use these suction cups included. I went ahead and swapped uh, okay. Gerald's head oh, around wow. so that he looks a little bit more angry, he's more of a monster, this sort of acts like an eye, so that way he's more fierce. Like I don't him. see it, uh, but I kind of do. Since they updated the ClickBot Studio Pack, I guess it's only fair that I update my review. So in my review, I gave it a 4.25 out of 10. Okay. And since there is technically a parts list now, minus one part, I'm going to go ahead and take that off, which bumps it up to uh, 5 out of 10. Nice. And there's no longer any false box information because it is technically possible to do the little combined quick bot creature thing. So taking that off, that now bumps it up to an additional 1, which leaves it with a 6 out of 10. Nice. Final score. I went ahead and opened the blue single quick bot just to see if there's anything new. And there's nothing else in here. This is all I get. And everything here is pretty much the same yeah. as it was before. Anyways, that was my little ClickBot StickBot Target haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Yes, I sure and did. And comment, I don't know, comment whatever you like. Comment what your favorite Anything. thing about StickBot or ClickBot is. And anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye, Maka. Now that was pretty interesting, I might say. Guys, I will post a link to Kids Filming Club's channel in the description. Otherwise, that was great. I'm going to like this video. I cannot wait. Oh, somebody says in a... Oh, man, I hope the Metal Clocks... I hope the Metal Clickbots come. It's almost August. Yeah, that's my prediction of the... Uh, the Clickbot Metal Box probably sometime mid-August. Like like the original Clickbots did. I can't wait to see what those things are all about. And I can't wait for Michael to review them as well. And I can't wait to see what other things StickBot Central is going to release later this year. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And see you in the next reaction. So if you're going to react, you're signing out. Reactor out.